evening is linked to six explosive devices that killed two people. Let's get right to our senior national correspondent, Matt Gupton. He's on the scene in Austin with the very latest for us. Matt, good morning. Good morning, David. Still an ongoing and active, active scene. You can see behind me how many police cruisers are there. There is also an ATF vehicle and a command center from the Austin police. Now, forensics teams are still combing through that bomb site. They are trying to determine whether or not this suspect who blew himself up as uh, SWAT team's approach was wearing a suicide vest. But what they do know for certain is that 19 days that have terrorized this city are finally over. Authorities say the man they believe is responsible for terrorizing the city of Austin is now dead. We had surveillance teams looking for this suspect and we ultimately located the vehicle that this suspect was known to be driving and witnesses told us he was driving and in fact we found that at a hotel right up the road here in Round Rock. As members of the Austin Police Department SWAT team approached the vehicle, the suspect detonated a bomb inside the vehicle, knocking one of our SWAT officers back, and one of our SWAT officers fired at the suspect as well. Law enforcement have not named the suspect, but say he is a 24-year-old white male. It was just kind of like a boom. It wasn't very loud, and I didn't, that's not, I didn't even think it was that. They believe he was the only perpetrator, but are asking the community to remain vigilant. As we don't know where this suspect has spent his last 24 hours, and therefore we still need to remain vigilant to ensure that no other packages or devices have been left through the community. They were able to identify the man with the help of security video from a FedEx retail store in Southwest Austin, where the suspect shipped at least one explosive device. The man is believed to be responsible for planting three package bombs on doorsteps in residential neighborhoods, so killing was two people. One. A fourth bomb detonated next to a street in a residential subdivision and was triggered by a tripwire strung over a sidewalk. A fifth bomb exploded Tuesday at a FedEx distribution center about an hour south of Austin. A female worker with minor injuries was treated and released. It's in your workplace, and we deliver packages on a daily basis, so you never know what might happen. Authorities found a sixth bomb, which did not detonate, at a different FedEx distribution center. That device was actually going through one of the carrier services instead of being uh, hand-delivered. This morning, relief and gratitude in Austin. On behalf of an incredibly thankful community, I just want to say thank you. Now what is so disturbing is that even though we know this suspect is dead, the bombs that he created may still be in circulation. Now I just spoke to a high-ranking official from the ATF and what is incredible is how agents managed to piece together those very bombs that detonated. They figured out that this suspect had a particular signature. He used the same components in the bomb again and again and that's how they were able to track where he bought the components and get the make and model of his vehicle and an address finally tracking him down to this location. David, while laser